New details are emerging about the Parker shooting that left a suspect dead and put a Douglas County deputy in the hospital. That deputy, Detective Daniel Bright, is still in the ICU in critical condition right now. Today, the Douglas County coroner identified the suspect as 40 year old Randall Roderick. Investigators are not releasing his photo at this time. And that area in Parker where this all happened is still considered a crime scene right now. Roads have been blocked off all day as investigators gather more evidence there. Denver 7 reporter Eric Lufer is live near the suspect. Home where deputies have also been searching for evidence. And Eric, the first 911 call was made from there. That is true. So detectives have been here all day gathering evidence. We've been told that they've secured the scene and they will leave very soon. We have seen a lot this afternoon, including volunteer search teams who just left the scene. They canvassed this whole area. A very large crime scene they have left. We've learned a lot. The suspect's name, and we're learning more about the moments before this situation took a very bad turn. Puppy advised her husband is very drunk and is trying to leave. Law enforcement radio traffic helped set the scene. Puppy advised male has a loaded 9mm with him. Ten people kill whoever tries to stop him. Now we know it was Randall Roddick inside this Parker home, suicidal and heavily armed, according to the Douglas County Sheriff's Office. We never talked to the parents, really. The Gleasons knew their neighbors, but would have never guessed what would conspire on a quiet Friday afternoon. He's in the basement right now, loading his AK-47. Those were the initial conversations between dispatch and responding officers. Roddick eventually got into this RV. Deputies followed. Shot fired, shot fired, shot fired. The shooting ending just footsteps away from a preschool and middle school, a hospital, and a health club. Roddick was killed, a deputy hit. Well, what happened to the family? New questions from the Gleasons who have only really talked to a girl who lived in the home police first responded to. The little, the girl, she was um, handicapped, and so I got to talk to her a little bit. So I'm just kind of worried about her and how she's doing. All while local law enforcement hope for the best for their deputy, Detective Bright. Power of prayer is important, and I think it can help him. Now, just before 5 o'clock, we saw two tow trucks drive away with two vehicles, most likely because those are going to be part of the evidence here. The Douglas County Sheriff sent out a statement earlier today, still asking for prayers for his injured deputy. Also, he wanted to make sure to say how proud he was of his deputies. He believes many innocent lives were saved because of their actions yesterday. I'm Eric Lufer, Denver 7. Eric, thank you.